In this guide, we'll walk through the key factors to consider when selecting a UPS system and explain the process of properly sizing your UPS to meet your specific needs. In our increasingly digital world, reliable power is no longer a luxury but a necessity. Power outages, whether caused by severe weather, grid failures or simple accidents, can disrupt our lives and businesses in significant ways. From lost data and productivity to damaged equipment and financial losses, the consequences of power interruptions can be substantial. Fortunately, there's a solution to mitigate these risks the Uninterruptible Power Supply, or UPS. A UPS acts as a safety net for your electronic devices, providing continuous power during outages and protecting them from damaging power surges. Whether you're a homeowner looking to safeguard your computer, an entertainment system, or a business owner needing to ensure business continuity, understanding UPS systems is crucial. This guide will walk you through the essentials of UPS sizing and selection, empowering you to make an informed decision that meets your specific needs. An uninterruptible power supply, or UPS, is essentially a battery backup system that kicks in when the main power source fails. Unlike surge protectors that only guard against voltage spikes, a UPS provides continuous power to your connected devices, allowing you to save your work, shut down properly, or continue operating for a limited time. UPS systems are available in various sizes and capacities, from small units designed for home use to large, industrial-grade systems capable of powering entire data centers. The importance of a UPS cannot be overstated in today's technology-dependent world. For businesses, a UPS can mean the difference between maintaining operations during a power outage and experiencing costly downtime. For homeowners, a UPS can prevent data loss, protect valuable electronics, and provide peace of mind during storms and blackouts. There are three main types of UPS systems, each offering different levels of protection and features, offline to standby, line interactive and online UPS. Understanding the differences between these types is crucial for selecting the right UPS for your needs. Offline standby UPS is the most basic and affordable type of UPS, ideal for basic home or office use. It provides surge protection and battery backup during power outages but has a slight delay in switching over to battery power. Line Interactive UPS offers better protection than offline standby UPS systems. It constantly regulates voltage fluctuations and provides faster switching to battery backup, making it suitable for sensitive electronics. Online UPS is the most sophisticated and expensive type of UPS, offering the highest level of protection. It provides continuous, clean power to connected devices, eliminating any transfer time and voltage fluctuations. This type is ideal for mission-critical systems that require maximum uptime and protection. Before you can choose the right UPS, you need to determine your power requirements. This involves identifying all the devices you need to connect to the UPS and their respective power ratings. Start by listing all the devices you want to connect to the UPS, including computers, monitors, routers, modems, external hard drives, and any other essential electronics. Then check the back or bottom of each device for a label that indicates its power consumption in watts or volt amperes. Note down these values for each device. Section 5. Calculating Total Power Requirements – Ensuring Sufficient Capacity once you have a list of your devices and their power ratings, you need to calculate your total power requirements to ensure you choose a UPS with sufficient capacity. To do this, simply add up the wattage or VA of all the devices you want to connect to the UPS. For example, if you have a computer that draws 300 watts, a monitor that draws 100 watts, and a router that draws 50 watts, your total power requirement would be 450 watts. However, it's crucial to factor in a safety margin to avoid overloading the UPS. A good rule of thumb is to add 20 to 30% to your calculated total wattage or VA. Section 6. Backup. Time how long do you need to keep running? The next step is to determine how long you need the UPS to provide backup power. This is known as backup time and is crucial for deciding the battery capacity required for your UPS. Consider your needs short-term backup. If you only need enough time to save your work and shut down properly during a power outage, a shorter backup time of 5 to 15 minutes might suffice. 
long-term backup. If you need to keep your devices running for an extended period, such as during a severe storm or prolonged outage, you'll need a UPS with a longer backup time, potentially 30 minutes to several hours. Section 7, Sizing Your UPS, providing a safety net for your devices. Now that you know your total power requirements and desired backup time, you can determine the appropriate size for your UPS. UPS size is measured in volt amperes or watts, and it's essential to choose a UPS that can comfortably handle your calculated load. When sizing your UPS, consider the following buffer. Always choose a UPS with a higher VA or wattage rating than your calculated total power requirement. This provides a buffer to accommodate any potential surges or future additions to your setup. Battery runtime. The backup time provided by a UPS depends on its battery capacity and the load it's supporting. Larger batteries provide longer backup times, but they also increase the cost of the UPS. Section 8. Advanced Features Enhancing Protection and Convenience Modern UPS systems often come equipped with additional features that can enhance protection, convenience and monitoring capabilities. Consider these features when choosing a UPS LCD LED display provides real-time information about battery status, load level, input, output voltage and other essential parameters. Surge protection protects connected devices from damaging voltage spikes and surges even when the UPS is not actively providing battery backup. Battery management optimizes battery life and performance through features like temperature monitoring, charging control and automatic self-tests. Expansion options allows you to connect additional batteries to extend the backup time of your UPS as your power needs grow. Section 9. Maintaining your UPS, ensuring long-term performance. Once you've chosen and installed your UPS, it's essential to perform regular maintenance to ensure its optimal performance and longevity. Follow these maintenance tips. Keep it clean. Dust and debris can accumulate inside the UPS, affecting its cooling and potentially causing malfunctions. Regularly clean the vents and exterior of the UPS using a soft cloth or compressed air. Battery care batteries naturally degrade over time. Avoid exposing the UPS to extreme temperatures as this can shorten battery life. Consider replacing the battery every three to five years depending on usage and environmental conditions. Regular testing. Periodically test your UPS by simulating a power outage to ensure it's functioning correctly and providing the expected backup time. Software updates. Some UPS models come with software that allows you to monitor performance, configure settings and receive alerts. Keep this software up to date to benefit from the latest features and improvements.